Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. I just got hold of a Nokia E71 and I thought that I should hack it and then share the video with you. Okay, before starting the video, um, there are a couple of things that you should take care. Uh, make sure that there's a memory card in the phone and then there's a SIM card in the phone. Uh, the phone's profile should not be set to offline. Uh, and uh, also make sure that if the phone's battery is faulty, uh, then either change the battery or first put the phone on charge and then start the hacking process. Okay, just a quick overview of the hacking process. First, we'll reset the phone. After resetting the phone, uh, we'll install Norton Symbian hack. Then we'll open Norton Symbian hack and uh, do a restore all. After that, we'll install uh, ROM Patcher Plus. Then we'll open ROM Patcher Plus and apply the patches. If the first patch install server fails, then what we'll do is we'll install a file manager explore. And using explore, we'll copy our on install server uh, to the phone uh, in the folder ccsbin. Uh, let me quickly show you how uh, the certificate errors look like on a Symbian phone. Before starting the hacking process, please make a backup of the data on your phone's memory. Uh, the data on your uh, memory card will remain safe. Let's check the software version of our phone. Uh, to check the software version, uh, go to your home screen and dial star hash 0000 hash. After you have secured your data, you need to hard reset your phone. To hard reset the phone, you need to switch off the phone and then uh, press these three keys together, star, yes, and three. And then switch on the phone as soon as the phone vibrates. Release the power button and uh, when you start seeing something on the phone, then you can release these three keys as well, but don't release them initially. Uh, you can see on the phone what are the three keys that you have to press. Make sure that your phone's battery is full before starting this reset process. Okay, our phone is now resetting. Set your country and the city and leave the date etc as it is. After the hard reset, download the files, the hacking files from the description of this video and copy all, th all those files to a folder on your phone's memory card. Next, uh, go to your phone's application manager, click options, settings and set the software installation to all. Now go to the folder where you ins uh, downloaded the files and install the file Norton Symbian hack .sysx. Now go to your installations folder. Click on Norton. Click options antivirus quarantine list then again options restore all yes uh, Norton has done its job so now we'll uninstall it completely for that go to your application manager look for a file named Simon Tech Symbian Hack. Click Options. Remove. Uh, 
After removing Norton Symbian hack, we'll now install ROM Patcher Plus dot sysx. So go to your uh, hacking folder and click on the file to install it. After the installation of ROM Patcher Plus, go to your installation folder and open it. You will see two entries in front of you. Click on both of those entries. If both of them turn green, then uh, your phone has been hacked. However, however, if only one of them turns green and the install server remains red, then you need to go to the next step, which is the installation of Explore. As you can see, the install server is still red. So we'll go to the next step now. Now install Explore from your downloads folder. If you get an error while installing Explore, then uh, you'll need to change the dates of your phone and uh, then retry again. So we'll go to the settings and change the date to 2007 and try to install again. again giving an error so we'll change the date again let's try 2008 error again let's try 2009 okay it's working with 2009 Before opening Explore, uh, please make sure that in the ROM Patcher Plus, the second entry, Open for All, is green. Now let's open Explore. Go to Menu, Tools, Configuration, and tick in front of Show System Files and Folder. Next, we'll copy the install server from the hacking folder to C Sysbin. For that, select the install server file, menu, edit, copy, go to C, Sys, bin, and press the center button to paste the file. Uh, now, exit explore. Okay guys, congratulations, your phone has been hacked. Uh, to check uh, the hacking status, let's install a file to see if it works or not. You can see it installs without any error. Thank you for watching this video and if this video helps you, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because if you love Symbian phones like me, then I'll be bringing more cool stuff in the future. So please don't forget to press the subscribe button. Thank you.